Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to video number three. This video is the one that's covered what's going on in the last 24 to 48 hours with the royal family, the real working royal family. Let's just jump in, shall we? Let's go. This event I'm just touching on, and I believe it took place after Commonwealth Day, but I'm just going to talk about it first. Um, William went to London, central London, because there was an event for the Earthshot Prize. He was joined by all the supporters of the prize, Launchpad, which is a new platform. This platform can be accessed by philanthropists and investors that are looking to co-invest and help collaborate with people that work the Earthshot Prize to help bring, you know, climate change solutions to fruition. I'll never forget when Harry said that giving the money was a waste of time, it didn't do anything. Eh, that's been proven wrong. Right, let's move on to Commonwealth Day. Camilla walked in first, looking absolutely gorgeous in blue. We have seen this outfit before. Love it. After her came William, who was with Rob Dixon, who we know is his equerry. After that, Sophie and Edward were caught walking in through the gate. Sophie was looking really chic. She had on this gorgeous jacket with the matching hat. I love her in these kinds of hats. I, I This is going to sound crazy, but they remind me of somebody in the outback in Australia. I know, I know, but they do. When you guys see these pictures of Sophie, doesn't she look like somebody who belongs in the outback? Like seriously, I'm not, I'm not trying to be smart. She looks to me like she's one of the Australian women in the outback with the hat and the outfit. I love it especially with that leather around the top. Anyway, okay, so she and Edward go in, and after that, here comes the Princess Anne, and everybody was gushing over this jacket that she was wearing. I do believe we've seen this jacket before. I can't place it right now off the top of my head. She was seen walking with her lady-in-waiting, Dolly Maud, who happens to be, also don't forget, a good friend of uh, her daughter, Zara, and helped deliver Zara's youngest child. A big thank you to Remulod Sauce for showing us all the outfits that were being worn. We have Camilla. We have Sophie. She also got what Sophie, they also got what Sophie was wearing under that jacket. And we have Anne. I love what Anne was wearing. All right. Next up in was the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester. I think people forget about them. They have the same ranking. You know, they're a Duke and Duchess. They have the same ranking, but they are one of the older families. But again, these are people who've never put a foot out of line. Okay. So, Everybody got into the church and they go down the line and they say hello to everybody. You guys all know how that works. And then they line up so that they can walk in. And what people noticed was William and Camilla's, what do you call it, interactions. They seemed to get along really well. They were having some really nice moments together before it became time for them to walk down in the procession so that they could take their seats. I didn't notice the black, uh, what is that on Camilla's hat? Feathers? I love that little touch on the side of her cap. I never noticed that before. Anyway, they go down, they they get to their seats, They everybody files in where they're supposed to be, and then they stand for the singing of God Save the King. And yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's the black on Camilla's hat. I love that little detail. For those of you who don't know, this event highlights the five regions of the Commonwealth. There were over 2,000 people that were present, including the Commonwealth Secretary General Patricia Scotland. You had foreign ministers, high commissioners, senior politicians, dignitaries from across the Commonwealth, faith leaders. I mean, the, the church was full. For those who don't know, I'm just going to let you know the Commonwealth represents 56 countries working together towards shared economic, environmental, social, and democratic goals. And there's a service each year which highlights a vast community. And remember, it's voluntary. You don't have to join the Commonwealth, but people want to because it helps their countries. And this is what Harry and Meghan called Empire 2.0, right? This year's theme was One Resilient Common Future, Transforming Our Commonwealth. Love it. The King gave a speech by video message. This had been taped the previous month at Windsor Castle. As they left, there were flowers for all of the ladies. I love this picture of William. He's like, those flowers are for me? Me? 
You know, that was so funny because look at the little girl in the front. Look at her face. William, you know, took those flowers home to Catherine to make her feel better because of everything going on. William also spoke to the choir on his way out. He's not one to stand on circumstance. You know that. He talks to everybody. And then he got in his car and he went home to Catherine. Good for him. I'm, I'm glad he had time with her. Then Sophie came out. She got her flowers. Again, I love this outfit. I love her style. I feel like it's really ramped up since she got her new title as the Duchess. You know what I mean? I think her, I always liked her, but I feel like her style's been ramped up. Here comes Anne. Anne got her flowers looking absolutely gorgeous. I love that jacket. I probably could never afford that jacket, but I love the way she looks and I love her style. And there, of course, was her lady-in-waiting standing next to her, looking like she's freezing. I don't know what the temperature is in the UK, but these women all look like they're really cold. <laughs> next out was the Duchess of Gloucester. I love that hat that she's wearing. Once again, I feel like people are underestimating her because you really didn't hear much about her until they stepped up and did more work. But I, this is a really nice couple. They've been married a really long time. And she also has a great sense of style. I love her outfit. And I think her husband is super, super, super nice man. All right, that night, Camilla went to a reception. It was the Commonwealth Day reception. It took place at Marlborough House in London. Little tidbit of information in case you didn't know it. The Marlborough House is the international headquarters for the Commonwealth. I did not know that before. I love Camilla's outfit and she looks very happy and relaxed. So wherever she went on vacation, I would say it did the trick for her. She walked around and took pictures with a lot of people, but this is the Samoan band that she took a picture with. I love the, um, the outfit and I love the necklaces. So nice. I love the fact that Camilla has picked up the mantle and is doing the work for the king so that he can focus on his recovery, you know, during these cancer treatments. They have to be hard on you, whatever they are. The cancer treatments are really hard. So I'm glad that she's able to pick up the slack for him. And again, a big thank you to Remulade Sauce for showing everything that she was wearing. Lastly, a little off topic, I got this email. I don't know if this is accurate or not, but this person claims that Meghan Markle called one of the female executives at YouTube on Women's Day. And supposedly her complaint is channels like mine. She says we make cruel, mean, hateful remarks and are asking personal questions we have no right to ask. And they're putting her life in danger. And so they've opened up an investigation. I don't know if this is true or not. I have no proof of this, but I find that interesting because I just cover the regular news and give my opinion on it. Very odd. All right, you guys, don't forget that on Friday, there's a three-part series where I go through the Oprah show again and debunk everything in order. Oh my goodness, you don't want to miss this. So we will see you Friday. If you're a Patreon member, we will see you Thursday. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Put those comments down. Don't forget the links in the description box for my Patreon, my father's book, Twitter, Getter, Rumble, email, physical address. For those of you who've donated to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day.